natural world. We first learnt about this using reflection and rotational symmetry by cutting out snowflakes. We have now investigated this further. Here's an equilateral triangle. Here's another equilateral triangle rotated at 180 degrees. I'll construct another equal triangle in the middle third of the edge of the larger equilateral triangle, lots and lots of times. In fact, this can be done infinitely. In every iteration, you add another equilateral triangle, that's a third of the previous triangle side length. This is called the Koch snowflake. The Koch snowflake was developed from the Koch curve by Swedish mathematician von Koch, who lived between 1870 and 1924. The Koch snowflake is a continuous curve which does not have a tangent to any point. The progression of the area for the snowflake gets closer to 8 over 5 times the area of the original triangle. This was one of the first discovered fractals. It's a fractal because the triangles form a repeating pattern and the shape looks similar on any scale you look at it. Theoretically, the perimeter is infinite because we can keep adding triangles forever, but the area is finite because we can enclose it into a hexagon. The side lengths of the shape increase by one third with each iteration, making the new total side length four thirds of the original. The area increases by 3 times 4 to the power of the iteration after the first triangle in order to account for the new triangles. The size of the triangles become one third of the previous for every new iteration, as displayed in this formula showing how the area changes with the side length. Using method of simplification which shows that this equation, assuming it continues infinitely, cancels down to 2 times the square root of 3 divided by 5 times s squared, where s is still the original side length. And this is the formula for the area.